Hello booktube, my name is Adrian, and today I am bringing you the bookshelf book tag. tag was originally created by the channel A Wandering Mind and I will link their original video down below for you if you are interested in checking it out. This tag has 12 questions so I, let's go ahead and get into them so that we can roll on through this. So the first question is how many bookshelves do you have? I do technically have four bookshelves. I have the three that are behind me here and then there is one just off to the side here that actually houses all my kids books. So for the purposes of this video we will only be talking about these three because all of my books are contained on these three shelves although I do technically have a bunch of classics over there which I did not count. So my classics aren't going to be counted. No we're going to count the classics. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright so question two is how many books do you own on those bookshelves or how many books do you think you own? I did go ahead and count already before this video because I knew this was going to take a long time. I own 188 books across these three shelves and my classics. This does not include any books that are in my basement because my husband does have a shelf down there that does contain a few of my mangas and a box of books that have all of like my books from when I was like in middle school that I am saving for my kids someday. So those are not included but in terms of my books that I own here as well as the classics that are off to the side there, I own 188. Oh crap, I didn't count my Cassandra Clare books. <sighs> We're backing up. Hold on. So the question is how many books are on your bookshelves or how many books do you think you own? And I have 214 books. Question three is how do you organize your books? I organize my books in a way that is maybe slightly different than how most people do. Uh, first of all, all of my classics are over on a like glass enclosed shelf over there. It's the kind of shelving that is built into our house. I think most people would put like decorative china in it. I don't have any decorative china. So it's containing books and photos and Funko Pops. There's an entire shelf of Funko Pops in there. <laughs> uh, all my classes are over there. I decided to put those behind the glass because I have some that are very old. I have a couple books that are over 100 years old. So they're all in there. Um, my mother-in-law actually just gifted me a book that is a book of Shakespeare poems and it was owned by her, I think it was her great-grandfather. So it's multiple generations back and she gave it to me because she knows I love Shakespeare and I would appreciate it. So it's in there. I don't want them to get dirt messed up. I don't want the risk of them falling off a shelf. I don't want my kids to get a hold of them. They're in there just so that they're safe. So I have all of those in there. Further organization, this shelf farthest over here are all books that do not play, take place in reality. They are fantasy books. They are superhero books. They are sci-fi books. They are anything that has a magical element to it are on these shelves and then they are all then arranged by author's last name. This center shelf here, the top shelf has my favorite mangas as well as my favorite little uh, mass market paperback books and then just a collection of other trinkets and bookmarks and things. Then these two shelves are all of my favorite to books. So anything on this shelf that you see are my favorite books or series. So if you're ever wondering, you can just take a look at this behind me. And then finally, this shelf back here are all of my books that take place in reality. So historical fiction, nonfiction, contemporary, all of those things are over here. And then, like I said, everything on all of these shelves are arranged by author's last name. I don't think you can see it in the shot because I, it's too up high but on the very top of my bookcase across the top shelf are all of my Cassandra Clare novels. I own a lot of them. They would take up an entire sh like shelving unit on their own and probably will someday because I'm insane but they are all across the top of there so yeah that is how I organize my books. It may seem a little like a weird system but it's the one that works for me because then I am a mood reader so if I'm interested in reading in like an old favorite I can go to the center shelf. If I'm interested in reading a fantasy or something that's a little more mystical I can go to that shelf or if I'm interested in something a little more realistic I can go to that shelf. It's all organized in a way that works for me. That's just what I do. So that's how I organize my shelves. Question number four is what is the oldest book on your shelf? So I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to show you guys the oldest book in terms of publication date and then I'm going to show you the oldest book in terms of my possession, being in my possession. So give me one second. First up, the book that I own that I have owned the longest is actually The Hiding Place by Cory Ten Boom. This book I got in the sixth grade I believe. It was a school assigned reading book. Um, I read this book probably 20-30 times. 
Um, it is very well used. It is beat up all over the place. It's missing part of the back cover because of how much I read and tore this book up. Uh, this book is the book that I have had in my possession for the longest amount of time. So there's that one. In terms of book that is the oldest published, uh, I have this little copy. This is the book I was actually just telling you about that my mother-in-law gave me. Um, it is this very little, very delicate book of Shakespeare short stories. There is a note written in the front here by my husband's great, great grandfather. Um, this book, I believe, I think we figured out it was published in roughly the 1860s to the 1880s. So this book is extremely old and we're just guessing on that. Obviously this was written, uh, it does not have a publishing date in it. So uh, we just had to go based on doing some research of our own. And that's what we found out is this is probably published around the 1860s to the 1880s. So. This is definitely the oldest book in terms of when it was published book that I own. Question number five is the opposite. What is the newest book on your bookshelf? This is an easy one. The answer to this question is The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chosky. This book is literally the newest book I have. I just got it in the mail today. This book is the Owlcrate exclusive edition for this book. I literally just got it today. I just filmed my unboxing right before this video, so timeline. Um, but yes, so this is definitely the newest book I own. <laughs> the next question is, what is the longest book on your shelf? Okay, so that took a little more time than I thought it was going to, but the longest book that I own is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This book is 880 pages long, not including the short story that is in the back of it. So this book is a hefty book and it's it's one of my favorite Cassandra Clare novels honestly so to have it all tied up definitely enjoyed this one. Question seven is the shortest book on your shelf. I went ahead and pulled it down while I was up because I knew which book this was going to be and that one is Misfit, Mischief and Magnolias by Christy Cook. This book is 93 pages long. It is a novella. It is only 93 pages long. Definitely the shortest book that I own. Question number eight is what is the predominant genre on your bookshelf? So looking at my shelves, this shelf goes all the way down four shelves, doesn't quite fill up the fourth shelf. This is all like not reality. There's some mixed in here and that's all reality. Um, so based on just looking at my shelves, you would think it would probably be fantasy or something like that. But in reality, um, it's, it's actually YA contemporary uh or YA romance. Most of my books are that. This whole section right here is all YA contemporary except for like one book. This is YA contemporary, YA contemporary, YA contemporary. Most of these are YA contemporary. Like most of my books are YA contemporary. So in terms of predominant genre on my bookshelves that I own physical copies of, YA contemporaries. Uh, question number nine is have you done a bookshelf tour the answer to that is no but i am planning to do one soon in fact i'm gonna try and film it like here in the next week uh, i make no promises on when you're going to get it because i've never done a bookshelf tour before i don't know how long it's going to take probably a long time so i don't have one yet hopefully you'll be getting one soon that's that <laughs> next question is number 10 go to a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds to pet number so one second 54. I already don't know what this is gonna be. So let's begin the count. So the book that was 54th on my shelf was Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. This book is the first book in the, I don't know what this is actually called, the Ruby Red trilogy. Um, these books are time travel novels. I read these a long time ago. These covers are some of my favorites because they are absolutely beautiful. The new covers are not as good, just saying. 
these original hardbacks are gorgeous uh this book is about a girl who uh every generation in her family has one time traveler she is not supposed to be it because it's based on the day you were born and one day she time travels and finds out that it turns out her parents lied about her birthday and she's actually the time traveler and so she has to go through and try and like complete this mission that was fulfilled by a prophet that is like foretold in a prophecy that she is the last in the line of so that is this book series. Um, I really like this book. I think I ended up giving it like four stars like for the whole series. Every book was like four stars. So it was a pretty good series. And so if you're interested, maybe read by Kirsten Gere. Also, this is a translated novel. It was originally written in German. All right, question number 11. Do you have fan merch or any other decorations on your bookshelf? I do. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff on my bookshelves. I will insert a clip over the top of me now. All right, so we are switching to shaky cam mode, sorry. But I wanted to go ahead and show you all the stuff that's on my bookcase. So first of all, we have this lovely art print up here that just has a bunch of words on it. You can pause if you want to read it. Up here I have this little stele that is actually a USB flash drive. It has nothing on it. It's just pretty. Scrolling down along here, up all the way up here, I have this uh, angelic rune light and a candle that is the wild hunt. Over here we have a dragon and then wedding sand that I need to find a new home for. Way back there is a mask that I made and then a photo of my friend Dylan. Then come on down here. This is a rock. It's actually a lava rock. My husband brought it back from Guatemala after he hiked up a volcano. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and go down. Here I have this candle from the Lunar Queen from Flick the Wick. Over here, we have Dumbledore. His glasses got broken off because my kids played with them, so whoops. Then down here, we have Snape hanging out over here. On to the next shelf of goodies. This is like my, my whole big like shelf of goodies. I have a ton of Doctor Who Funko Pops here. There is a playbook back here for the Newsies musical that I went to. I absolutely loved that. Up here we then have Groot in a kitty cat mug and Ariel. Down here is uh, an Idris candle. I have a Dalek. There's this bookmark, an adipose, little Doctor Strange, a wooden bookmark. Behind the wooden bookmark is a bunch of magnetic bookmarks. Then we have a mug of bookmarks and Will Herondale plushie. So that's it for that shelf. And I think that's it for all of the random stuff on my bookshelf. So now, on to the next question. Question number 12 is show us your bookshelf. So, they are right behind me. I will again cut to future Adrian showing you my bookshelves. And we are back. I'm going to give you a quick scroll over my bookcases starting at the top with my Cassandra Clare shelf. my books not based in reality shelves. Favorite books, we have this shelf. So that is it for this video today guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found this interesting learning about my bookshelves like i said i am working on filming a bookshelf tour it's taking a while because i don't know how to do it and i'm worried i'm not doing it correctly and it's going to take me a while to edit so you'll have to be patient but i promise at some point this year you will get a bookshelf tour but yes that is all i have for this video today guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye